and good afternoon to my final presentation. My name is Sandra Porras. I'm studying of the teacher program at Valparaiso University. I'm going to talk about five critical concepts. First, biography driving instruction, sociocultural dimension, cognitive dimension, academic dimension, and linguistic dimension. First, I will start with biography driving instruction. Um, traditionally, teachers teach in the same way to all the students, even they have different realities. Now, it affects their personality and character. It's important to the teacher take into account their social and community experience and motivate them and engage every time in their class and they can to be successful in their learning. Let's move to the next point that is sociocultural dimension. Every student is different. In our society, they have their own culture, family, community, experiences, religion, and language. So it's important that teachers interact with them in their partners, and they can learn together in a better way. Traditionally, teachers don't pay attention in their acculturation. They ignore the relation that is between a school and home, and they affect their affective filter. Now, we know that students have feelings and emotions that we can use as a positive tool in our classes. The third is cognitive dimension. Have you ever heard about stimulus and response? It belongs to the behaviorist theory, and it is based on drills, repetitions, and non-communicative activities. It stops the learning process of the student. Now we can use the cognitive process in a better way and learn about the learning strategies and learning styles of our students that is related to the multiple intelligence, um, interpersonal, intrapersonal, musical, kinesthetic. The academic dimension. It's related to the curriculum and instruction. Some students have problems with the scores, grades, school records, assignments, and school policies. Now, as teacher, we have to reflect or critical on the curriculum and be flexible and apply multiple strategies and activities that can help our students every day. And finally, the linguistic dimension. It refers to the language and the real communication. Uh, all the errors of our students are predictable, but we can to stop to correct them every time. We can use different strategies, and when the error repeats, sometimes uh, it's a case of fossilization. In this case, teachers have to address the best strategy in order to help them. It's important to know about BIGS and have basic interpersonal communicative skills and cognitive academic language proficiency. Uh, is to know about the interaction that they can be in the class and the proficiency of our students. Persia is very useful too because we can know the level in which the students are. Now let's move with the next part. It's about the lesson plan. You can see the picture and the title is Occupations. Okay, please read the objectives with me. One, two, three, we. We will be all sent to our friends and teachers of our universities. Okay, the second one is speaking. We, we will talk about our favorite occupations and partners. Thank you. The third one. We will recognize the several related to occupations. And the fourth writing. We, we will write about our lessons and lectures in the current Here we have a heart, and behind this heart is a occupation, occupation, activity, or work. And you try to guess? Okay, Rosita, what is it behind this heart? Profession, um, occupation that you know. A secretary. Secretary, no, it's not a secretary. Mm -hmm. uh, Ruth. Uh, architect. Architect, no. Um, teacher. A teacher, no, it's not a teacher. No. So, okay, no. I am going to read some cues. This person. Always is fashion, they use lipstick, uh, creams, uh, perfume. Okay? What do you think is Tibet? 
A model, excellent. A model. Okay, what is it? A model. 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 There are two models here. Great. Now, you have a heart. Take your heart, please. Okay, excellent. Uh, in this part of your heart, As you know, we already learned about the family. Yes, what are the members of the family? No. <laughs> Father. Father, okay, very good. And you? Mother. Mother, okay, we already learned in the last class of the family. <laughs> the members of the family? Yes, uh, they yes. say <laughs> mother, father, and you? Sister. Sister, okay. Johnny? Brother. Brother, okay. Now, you think about a member of the family and his or her occupation. Please write. One member of the family and his or her occupation. If you don't know, if you don't know the occupation, you can draw. You can draw or write. Okay. Just occupation. Just one. Did you finish? Yes. 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 Okay. What do you write or what do you do? Uh, I write doctors. Doctor. Who is doctor in your family? My brother. Okay. Now, you can share with your partner, please. And if you have another, a new one, you can write. Share with your partner and write. Okay, thank you. Patti, what groups write or draw? You draw about singer. Nurse and musician. Okay, singer, nurse and musician. And what family do you go? Uh, what family? Uh, father, brother, and sister. Okay, excellent. Very good. Um, Liz, Liz. What is Daniela? Daniela wrote her father is mechanic. Her father is mechanic. Okay, very good. Excellent. Now, pay attention, students. You are going to listen a song and write some more occupations. The occupations that you can listen or you see, you can draw here or write in this part over here, okay? At least two. Thank 
Thank you. Okay. Thank you. 